All right, KTC, here we go. Another week done and dusted. And what is coming up? I'm going to talk about that in a second. Before I get there, a couple quick announcements. First of all, if anyone has lost their Magic 5 goggles already, I probably have them. They are the light blue tinted kind. We can do like a Cinderella, see if they fit your eye, because obviously they're custom. They're too narrow for me, I would have kept them. <laughs> no. Uh, so, hit me up if you are missing your brand new Magic 5 goggles. They were sitting on the bleachers by the shallow end, so I'm going to guess it was either a 7 a.m. Or, or, sorry, 6 a.m. or 7 a.m., but uh, yeah, let me know if those are yours. I want to send a huge congratulations to Matt Long and Kelly Lee for uh, the absolute domination. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, no, great race this, uh, well, it's today, actually. I'm filming this on Sunday, so whether I send it out tonight or Monday, but 70.3 La Quinta in California. Kelly, uh, not feeling good leading into the race, so all things considered, amazing race. Uh, ran herself up into 11th position. I think you, I think you came off the bike 18th, Kelly, and yeah, you were uh, running woman after woman down, so congratulations on that. And Matt Long finishing 8th uh, place in his age group, and uh, yeah, Blazing fast, 133 average on the swim, so congratulations on all the swim work. Uh, bike was blazing fast, the run was blazing fast, what was it, like 40, 407 or 8 average, 426.18 overall, so amazing job there, uh, Matt. Can't wait to go head-to-head -head with you this year. Um, let's see, what else? Swim videos, I am still working my way through, sorry, there's way more than <laughs> I've ever done before and this has still been kind of a weird week for me I still have one little sick one so sitting at the computer has been a struggle working from home this week but I am uh, in the K's if your first name is uh, starts with a K from A to K you should have yours unless it's upside down and I need to reformat it and everyone else it is coming soon I'm gonna rip off a number tonight and hopefully get through the rest of them early in the week so I apologize for that taking so long but they are coming Training plan. So we're going to talk about what's coming up this week, but overall, I just want everyone to understand that this is a generic plan. It's not easy. <laughs> I like this week, we got 13 hours of training if you did the entire thing. Most of you aren't at that level where you can manage that with life and, well, training stress uh, all of that combines and yeah this is a lot so take what works for you move things around if you need recognize it's still December <laughs> we haven't even really gotten to focus training yet so you don't have to hit every workout um, yeah again training stress is pretty high 701 so again I struggle making these weeks and obviously I've had years of base of fit or base fitness that I've uh, developed. So just uh, again, be careful with the training plan. If you're just getting into it, yeah, this is probably a little much. Most of you are probably more in the eight to, or sorry, six to eight or nine hours a week of training. Again, with everything else going on in your life. So pick and choose carefully and uh, hopefully you can get a nice sprinkle of swim, bike and run in every week. But please don't feel you need to follow the plan to a T because it is just general. A lot of the athletes that I'm working with one-on-one -on -one don't have this uh, many workouts in <laughs> because, again, it's not suited for everybody. And I uh, just wanted to give options on every single day of the week. So take it and use it uh, as you like. It, obviously, if you're on a... Um, uh, basic plan for training peaks you don't have the ability i believe to drag and drop move things around so again if you ever wanted that uh, functionality you can upgrade to a premium and uh i am looking at doing a training peaks kind of i'm not gonna say orientation yeah i'll say orientation ins and outs how to use the platform how to actually yeah <laughs> leverage some of the capabilities that exist within the training peaks uh, software with the metrics 
uh, and just overall plan management. So uh, look for that in the next couple of weeks, and I'd like to get a little online session going for that. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Um, yeah, I mentioned we're still, you know, <laughs> we haven't even gotten started yet. <laughs> so training, we really haven't gotten too focused, too hard into it. Really one month in. So patience, <laughs> patience is key. I was a little disappointed with some of the performance in the pool lately, more in terms of organization communication and just general flow of the workouts i know that you're you know still getting used to your lane mates and uh you know who's doing what and who's swimming at what speed um and again some sessions are better than others but that being said a couple quick reminders communicate with each other <laughs> don't stand there and not talk to each other and then just push off right in front of the person that was ready to push off communicate there should be a natural flow again if you're leading the lane you're setting the tempo and it's your responsibility to keep the flow of the workout going now if you're in the wrong lane move <laughs> that's fine to move up and down and look for the balance in the lanes uh, we had one day where we had six in one lane and one in the lane right next to it so again spread out uh, you may move up or down a lane on any given day and again, if you're typically in the back of the lane, then move down. If you're typically in the front of the lane and there's room in the lane that's uh, one up from where you typically swim, move up. It's all good. Uh, whether you're at the front or at the back, again, if you are, uh, if your lane leader is keeping the flow going uh, nicely, then everyone should swim happy. Synchronize yourself do not swim the workout alone so if you're jumping in for the warm-up you sync up with the people already swimming as soon as possible like right away <laughs> don't do your your own warm-up while someone else is 100 meters ahead it just screws everything up um and leave space it is not a race we are in practice it is not your uh, objective to catch the person in front of you and if you're leading, it's not your objective to not get caught. Your objective is to accomplish whatever we're trying to accomplish at the, any given time. And usually right now is technique. So if you're worried about catching people because it's easier to draft, obviously, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Train smarter is all I have to say. That's my rant. I'm going to get over it. <laughs> but please... <laughs> Communicate with each other. That would be number one. Uh, so looking at uh, this week coming up, obviously Monday, we are on recovery day. We are going to do a little test set next week. So in the pool on Tuesday, we're going to do a little bit of a pacing set just to make sure that you don't go out too fast when we get to the actual test set, which you'll probably do. If your test set times haven't changed ever, <laughs> Rob, <laughs> sorry to call you. I know you hate these things. Use it as a training set. It's all good. Um, so look for that in the pool on Tuesday. We're taking the strength up a little bit. We're going to add some more reps to the main set. So, or, or sorry, more sets to the main set. Uh, same reps and slowly start to add a little bit of weight. You should uh, start to feel like you're, yeah, you're working a bit. Not to the point where you're at absolute failure by the end of the 10 or 12 reps, but you should feel like you've done some good work in the gym. Other than that, stretching out some of the core work, and uh, that's really all that is changed in the strength. Same exercises last week, just to get familiar uh, with those uh, particular exercises. Wednesday, we are still working on foot speed coming off uh, last week. A very similar workout, couple of changes that I made. We're going a little longer on the 30 seconds. So instead of six times 30, we're going eight times 30. Again, some of you I have changed this for if uh, we're working together one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And then you're gonna do a broken set of threshold where I'd like you to really focus on keeping the stride rate up. I saw a lot of athletes revert right back to their regular stride rate uh, on the on the 
um, threshold intervals last week. So really want you to try to push that up and hopefully these little walking breaks allow you to do that. Uh, the second set, we're actually taking the intensity up to VO2 max. We're going to shorten it down one to one work to rest ratio. And again, foot speed, foot speed. So that will be the focus on the Wednesday. The night, we're still working some overgeared work. I don't know about anyone else who showed up on Wednesday, but uh, man, I felt fantastic on Saturday after doing some of that overgeared work, just strong already. So hopefully that uh, is starting to take hold to you as well. We're gonna warm up the exact same way and then we're gonna get into a little set where the recovery decreases. So we're doing two minute intervals, upper uh, super threshold or VO2 max intensity. So it's pretty high on the intensity scale and unfortunately the rest disappears. So that will be the challenge on that interval. And then we're just gonna do some over geared work uh, at uh, about tempo intensity. Just again, really reinforcing the efficient pedal stroke. So a lot of this is motor control. And then we're gonna do it one more time and a little harder on the effort, a little shorter on the duration and then hit uh, one more um, longer sustained, a uh, little easier on the intensity going down to the lower tempo uh, uh, range and again lots of um, motor control focus there so that will be the ride on wednesday night thursday we're gonna learn how to push off the wall <laughs> whether that's every time you leave to start uh, any type of interval or any time you do a turn this will be incredibly important so we're gonna do some experimenting i'm gonna show you a couple tips and tricks hopefully to speed up your streamline coming off the wall. And we may, uh, we'll get into some open turns as well, which is what most of you do. Uh, and if you don't do open turns, you are gonna have some time to practice uh, some of your turns uh, from mid pool. Yes, I'm not lying, perfect. So strength already talked about, Friday variable hills. We had one heck of a fartlek hill run <laughs> this week. <laughs> Never done that workout before. Thought, uh, well, we'll see how it went. It looked good on paper, and I will say it pushed me to the edge. I know Don and uh, Luke running next to me on the treadmill were pushed to the edge. So we'll see how this one goes. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different. <laughs> I was going to say easier. It might not be easier. I have no idea. Again, uh, we're testing this one. Each one of these intervals is a little different in terms of either pace or grade. And we're going to play with a whole bunch of different variables as that changes. Speed changes will happen. Grade changes will happen. So this is going to be a real mix of hill work. So it, that one will be very interesting. If you want to uh, join me, sorry, Aaron, I missed you on Friday. I had totally meant to uh to jump on and again sick little one just didn't uh didn't work out and i ended up watching cartoons on uh the couch for a few hours on friday afternoon um but anyway i hope to hit this uh tt again this week i'm not sure sure how it went for you aaron but uh if i remember i'll ask you maybe i won't do it find something else so saturday we are continuing to build off the set that we did this week we're going up to 10 one hundreds and 500 so exact same set just a little bit longer we'll continue to shorten up the dry land uh, if you want to join in for a little endurance ride on the saturday as well and then of course sunday eight o'clock we're still running it's uh it was cold this week hopefully it warms up a little bit more <laughs> but uh we're still smashing it out so that is what is coming up for this week again train smart listen to your body we're week two in if by the end of this week you're feeling absolutely cooked you may want to take a little bit of downtime if you're still feeling strong keep pushing through but again know where your limits are know where your level of fitness is at this moment and take this plan do what makes sense for you and I'll tell you for most of you 13 hours and 10 minutes in December with a 701 training stress doesn't make a whole lot of sense so dial it back a little bit <laughs> biggest bang for your buck uh, will be probably more the intensity inner or uh, workouts at the moment but uh, even that being said that's a lot of intensity the approach is Wednesday's the hard day 
uh, and Friday's the hard day. So those days, instead of doing double workouts, choosing one workout, so maybe running on Wednesday and riding on Friday might be a good option or vice versa. And um, yeah, cutting back some of the duration of uh, any of the other workouts. Obviously, if you're not swimming on Saturday, that one is gone for you. And um, hopefully that aligns with where your body is not going to get angry and injured and <laughs> ill or whatever. <laughs> so that is about it. Uh, can't wait to see you all this week. And yeah, till next time.